in uh, text and performance as we discussed uh, our texts or symbols where uh, performance uh, involves uh, the body so to understand our body in performance we can think about uh, the a body map that is generally we know about where our nose is where our eyes are and uh, where the shoulders are where the legs are but uh, that's uh, uh, that's not uh, sufficient uh, why is that not sufficient for us because uh, uh, performance uh, with uh, different kinds of performances require uh, a variety of uh, understanding about the body map say when you are a farmer so you may not require a very deep and fine understanding of the body but if you are a violin player then perhaps you require a very good understanding of your neck head movement and uh, because you have to hold the violin and every muscle you know, in that movement matters because you are uh, playing uh, something that is very uh, intricate and has nuances in it therefore <coughs> body for a violinist or body for a guitarist or body for a dancer or uh, body for an actor okay and body for a, a folk artist so every for example a body for a yogi or if you think of uh, uh, say other arts like uh, those who use their hands uh, uh, in knitting or or those who you see stand on their body for 10 hours a day on a project for them also uh, so understanding of body uh, and the job you do uh, is uh, correlated now out of that correlation uh, emerges the idea of uh, body mapping uh, generally this idea is uh, very popular among uh, performers theater artists uh, musicians and uh, Art on and other artisans also, and uh, this uh, helps in saving them from professional hazards. For example, uh, when you are working uh, on computer and typing on a keyboard uh, seven, eight, nine hours a day, then your uh, your your hands, your fingers, then your you see. Can really create a serious trouble for you. Uh, similarly, if you are sitting on chair for a longer time. Now, uh, you see, there is a general area of uh, uh, educating yourself about uh, to keep fit, healthy yoga, physical exercises. Uh, that's uh, a general approach. But in performance uh, or performing arts or in performance studies, or in textual performance we need to understand uh, the map the body map so by body map uh, what we mean for example say if you are uh, you see the, the word alignment is very very important in uh, body map or in uh, performing arts so alignment for example the word alignment you must have heard in terms of a bicycle or in terms of a car or in terms of other uh, vehicles which are put on some base and then different parts are you know, uh, mounted on them and uh, if uh, something is out of a line not a line uh, then the car or the cycle will not be uh, in the control of the uh, handle or the you know, the driver won't be able to really uh, take it the way. So it will, you will do like this, but it will go like that. 
So you see that kind of thing. Now this may happen in the body also. So body is also uh, a kind of you know uh, uh, a kind of machine or a kind of very uh, sophisticated you know organ organism that has various systems and then you have the skeleton and you have the muscles and there is alignment. Now, for example, uh, if you for example sit in a certain asan, uh, maybe uh, Vajrasan or Padmasan, okay, so what you do, I mean this, uh, this is uh, uh, not uh, something you call it uh, sacred or spiritual, uh, that is a different aspect of your uh, belonging to the world, but this is more about alignment. So if you if you are uh, you see uh, sitting like this, what you see that the body is uh, aligned here. Say you put this leg here, so at the center, this is the half part of the body. This is the half part of the body. So you have put this here, and then you put here. So in a way, what you have done, you have aligned both the joints okay ankles and uh, now this is straight now it means that this chin and uh, the nose so this goes a straight line behind you so you are sitting like this and uh, at the same time uh, if you let's say put your hands uh, uh, both of them should be parallel for example if you say this uh, line on the hand of this line on the hand you can put it here here and let's say if you are holding your fingers here so yeah so both the hands and legs are aligned and uh, the spinal cord is in the center of the body now achieving this center uh, may require some practice so before you go into uh, another uh, posture of uh, uh, body mapping, here first map you can develop about your body that uh, whatever postures you have, in those postures, if you are standing, then there is alignment. If you are sitting, then there is alignment. When you are sitting on chair, you need the alignment. So how you put your those? Uh, uh, how how do you uh, put put your uh, feet on the ground? Now this does not mean that uh, this alignment has something to make you a soldier or a military person or somebody who is in a security service, uh, and you have to keep your muscles very tightened and uh, you know keep your chest out or no, they never do that. This is all for free movement. This is all for free movement. What does that mean? That now, if you have not, you see, out of aligned means that certain areas of your body create locks. They lock your uh, your body. So they create locks. For example, the neck area, neck part. So if you are not, uh, say, if I put this leg like this, and if I sit like this, okay, now I have created, uh, I am out of uh, alignment. Now, so this may create uh, a lock here. Now, when I move my hand or I do something, then there is a very different kind of pressure. Now, you can do it for one minute, two minutes, three, four minutes. But if you are doing it for one hour or 30 minutes or let us say two hours as a a writer you are writing or as an actor you are doing it then your body will have a different response to it and uh, so uh, it's true that uh, you cannot keep on sitting like this uh, for two hours six hours but this is to teach you that how alignment matters the same is about when you are standing or when you are picking a weight okay so I introduce you to the word alignment. Now, what is the body mapping here? Now, body mapping here is that 
uh, your body is set to be at the best alignment when your uh, spinal cord is free. Is free means it can move like this, it can move like this, it can go back, it can come back. It means it has the you know, uh, flexibility of all the sides. Similarly, your hands are also, you know, they can, uh, they can, you can move, you can move like this or like this. So, you see, this gives you more flexibility and your body, you know, is 3D, three-dimensional. And uh, now that three-dimensionality is required for performance, uh, not for beautification or for only for expression, but uh, movement of the body free movement of the body is a, a gift to you that has been given to you by nature and the nature has been kind enough and has evolved in a manner that supports you uh, as much as possible but we take it for granted and under several kinds of burdens or uh, wrong practices or cultural myths or baggages or you know hectic life uh, because of uh, industrialization or uh, greed uh, because uh, we just want to run and catch something and get more money or because of other factors so our mind plays a very negative role in uh, uh, creating uh, you know disturbances in the body or putting it out of alignment and uh, that's where uses of freedom of body uh, is most of the times when you free yourself uh, from uh, most of the ideas and also you have a map of the body for example your idea of alignment now if we take up uh, one uh, exercise now that is about your head now your head is uh, uh, put on let us say uh, around uh, disc okay around this that is you know and that round between your head and your torso there is a round disc and it is put on there it's balanced which means that this uh, joint uh, which joins your torso and your head actually uh, is uh, has evolved so that you can move your head uh, in uh, freely in all the directions freely in all the directions okay so this is the freedom freedom of your head of course your muscles uh, uh, matter a lot but uh, if you your head is not aligned to the joint between your torso and your head and if you are putting uh, extraordinary weight on the side or you are you know now instead of uh, reading something like this uh, if you put your head like this you know again and again so this will uh, create uh, uh, disalignment and uh, uh, so so what you know about your head now that you create a map that your head and your torso between the two there is a disc or a joint on that this rests and it is made for uh, flexibility or for uh, you see uh, taking um, you see uh, you see like this now uh, so exercises involved for this uh, may be that uh, this must be so your nose and your ears you see if you draw a line here then your nose will straightway go across your ears okay so this is the line and similarly if you draw a line from here then it will go through nose and your center of your uh, skull head and then it will go down so you understand your map of the skull and the neck and the joint uh, that are there and now you uh, keep your uh, head on the uh, on the disc on that uh, joint and 
uh, you do the exercise. So now if you take this ear, because this is the alignment is very important. So take this ear, touch it here like this. Take this ear, touch it like this. So now, because you are sitting in an alignment mode and your this lower part, your torso is not locked. So you have to, so don't try to disturb that. And never push your stress your body, never create uh, any kind of, you know, basically for performing arts or performance where you have nuances. Nuances means, uh, say, say you are playing guitar. So here you have uh, you know, your fingers, your hand movement, your muscle, your alignment that would, uh, you know, matter. So this is quite different. Yes, as a soldier, maybe you require. When you, when you shoot, okay, there is a push, so you may be required powerful shoulders and all. So they train their people in their own manner. But this exercise is altogether different. So we cannot achieve this in a gym, for example, or we cannot achieve this uh, uh, in any general yoga session, for example. So this is a very specialized area, and uh, uh, say the greatest actors who are they they master it in such a manner that a single movement of their neck and their eyes will communicate something that will uh, connect to thousands of people but otherwise it's not possible in case they, though they they understand uh, in this way so uh, so to to end this video here i uh, i add the last point that you can uh, when you are sitting, just uh, look straight and uh, uh, keep this posture and uh, your, your torso is straight, okay? And uh, your uh, your torso is in a, in a state of movement. You can move, uh, you can move up, down, backward, forward, sideward, okay? Because your torso is also put somewhere. That we'll talk later when we talk about this and your head is here so the exercises that you can do now there should be a gap here so if you if you keep your head like this when you're reading or doing something then you are putting a lot of stress on the back and don't do that this is a lock you see this back area is a lock okay generally people will complain a lot of pain here and a lot of stiffness etc it's because of that because they lock it and then they move their body after locking it and uh, so that will you know, create so much pain and you know, headache, problems, stiffness and uh, then uh, no doctor will be able to solve it. Only uh, you have to then map your, so mapping you have no map it means in your mind about your neck, about your head, about your, you know, so have a map so that you know you are keeping it in in a location so like Meerut has a location or Boulanger has a location London has a location France uh, in France Paris has a location similarly your head also has a location and it has a station station and on that station uh, it can move so so uh, this will help you remove and free your neck from uh, your uh, ignorance of the map that you have so in the body mapping, you can do, and finally, you can do this exercise, you can take this here, okay, yeah, but alignment is very important, you can take it, so alignment is very important, bring it down, center, keep this distance here, and then here, you can touch the shoulder, so that would create alignment, because here is in the center, okay, and then you can take it here, this will also create alignment, but yeah, so like this, like this, like this, okay, and this should have a free movement, free, uh, this should have a free movement, okay, uh, this movement is very important, the free movement, or you can uh, rotate, so rot well, while you're rotating, you keep the map in your mind that you are moving your head on that uh, platform on which it uh, 
stands and between the two this platform above is head and below is the torso the neck part okay so why maybe you have your clo eyes closed but uh, imagine the map and uh, find a location and don't let it uh, be locked okay so this will in this can help you so this is the first part of body mapping thank you very much so the right alignment is is here okay and both the, so when you are putting keeping your hands like this there is no mystery about it only thing is that in the alignment your hands are fully aligned and holding this uh, if you are making like this then this alignment okay is confirmed okay right yeah there is symbolism people can create any symbols like this and but the point is keeping in uh, an alignment as the body has a world and i always refer it that body is a temple worship 